So they'll be calling you a radical. A lot to talk about today on the nuclear front. And then we'll get to my nightmare health issues I've got going on. Teeth, just simply pulling a tooth. Oh, it's so complicated. Post leukemia. So they consent. They consent. Japan has consented. Okay. Okay. They've consented. Okay. Two cities in Japan have consented, just like here. So, Idaho, the nuclear waste. Remember the consent based hearings? I traveled around, went to most of them, spoke at them. You know, they said that New Mexico, Texas, and Idaho have consented. So, you go up to Idaho, which I have a zillion times, which Trump is testing nuclear weapons. What about, I thought they killed nuclear physicists for testing nuclear weapons. So, you tell them, well, you supposedly, through your state legislative process, have consented to bring the nuclear waste here. No, we haven't. Well, that's not what the legislators, because we've gotten so red, blue, bill, blue pill here that people don't even know. They've given up on the voting. So if the last election didn't prove to you, it doesn't matter what these politicians do. These voting blocks are so locked in, branded. I mean, these same counties vote the same way, irregardless. It doesn't matter. So two cities in Japan have consented against their own. Now, oh, we're going to pay them. Well, who's going to get the money? Not the people. And like I said, what good does money do you when you're dead? By the way, I need to talk about this. The drought situation here is getting very scary in Utah. You know, I'm friends with the... My neighbor I grew up with is the water guy around here. He says, these reservoirs are empty, so it's December. We got nothing. I mean, nothing on the horizon. It hasn't really rained and snowed of any significance in, you know, 10 months. So let's talk some COVID. You know, my theory on COVID is a mutation from the Fukushima disaster. You know, first you hypothesize knowledge and then you feel. I mean, my work on the tide pools, by the way, if everything goes right with the doctors today, I tried to get this molar pool today. He says, I don't know, man. So, pre medicating specialists, I've got no money. Why? Think about it. Nobody will even give me a, Here's the dilemma of a cancer victim. $1.8 million bill, which is pretty well paid. Pretty well my medical bills. I had a lot of money. Paid up. You know, paid along the way. Pretty well paid, but open heart surgery, pretty well paid. But all the scraggler bills, anesthesiologists, this, that, the other thing, they're all over. I haven't had any debt. I haven't even applied for any debt for years. Yet I have a, my credit scores terribly because I have scraggler medical debt all over the place. You know, I wonder why. How many different doctors I've seen? Oh my God. Give them two months to live. Nine years ago, what a battle. My aortic valve went from the chemo, open heart surgery, my gallbladder rupture. My teeth are going. A lot of pain. I've dealt with so much pain the last nine years. It's constant. I didn't have a transplant because I was too sick. It's basically home sent to home to die, and I didn't die. But people don't give a shit about cancer victims. In Utah, I have no insurance. Mike Lee kicked me off Medicaid while I was in the bone marrow plant. So let's talk about this COVID theory of mine. The Fukushima hypothesis, they're going to push this into the ocean. They're going to lie. They're going to lie. It's going to destroy the ecology. The salmon are going to go. The tide pools are going to die. The Fukutoni, all that, all that. That's not theory anymore. First shot possible. Then you do the field work. Nine... Here's, it's going to give you cancer. I've proven it. It's unarguable. Gilded in gold, cast in concrete. Probably the greatest PhD in human history. But I've always said that COVID has been mutating for some time now. Now, remember when I was in Monterey, 2019, in November. Well, all summer long, I had something in my body. And these doctors could not figure it out. It used to get up into my shoulder. It was so much pain. It was epic. 
It finally went away in the middle of the night. I walked up over the peninsula. God, I have from Lover's Point clear up to the top on 12-12. I was right at the clock. Tide pool, you know, work. This evolution. Now it's been reported now. and This is not an opinion. This is proof. Here's how it's proof. That we know it was here earlier. Factually. Didn't show up when Kobe died. Kobe, COVID-19. On November or January 26th, January 19th, like has been reported, the first guy flew in to Seattle January 19th. That's not when it happened. How do we have proof? Because the Red Cross, who I did that great, by the way, that guy, how good was that interview? You know, I love those guys. So thank God we have them. So the Red Cross, and I'm walking over there right now, the biggest blood drive in the state. So, because I'm walking to the doctor. First off, before I get back to this, my teeth situation, they're gonna try to pull this tooth. It's a big mass when he says, I don't know if I can do it or not, blah, blah, blah. I'm nervous about it. See the oncologist, Vincent, tomorrow, who saved my life. And if everything goes okay, I'll be heading to San Diego. I'll get there probably the 8th. And I need a place to stay, you know, my little cute place. And, you know, because we're going to get some good low tide, you know, and we'll get some good looks. So, now stay with me. The Red Cross has come forward. And they screen the shit out of their blood. By the way, most bone marrow transplants, that's the only blood they'll let in. So we know this is factual. Out of multiple ones that tested in November and early December in the United States had the COVID SARS-2 antibody in their body. So thus we know factually, I think 568 different ones are showing a COVID on, on the blood samples taken in early December, showing the antibody. So we know factually that it already passed through them. Unarguable factual. So again, here we go with the Wuhan lab, Charles Lieber's arrest simultaneously. Though then, you know, it goes back to Spanish flu. Look at this guy. <laughs> the last of the Mohicans, he does all the dirty work. So, stay with me. Spanish flu, to this day, they'll tell you how controversial, which is total bullshit. We know where Spanish flu came. It came from a agricultural freaking byproduct feedlot. You know, stuff that we shouldn't be doing. It becomes as natural as occupying a bird refuge. <laughs> I mean, have you ever read Orwell 1984? You know, when he goes on that rant about people, you talk to the average person, they think cows are native and natural here. I mean, big ag, eek. So, my thesis has always been this is an ongoing mutation, thus Nuvo, my cancer. We just had this conversation, me and my dentist. You know, oh God. I mean, he's trying with me. He's working with me. But he's, I don't know. It's very dangerous what's going on with me, health-wise. I really need an oral surgeon. I really need a, you know, but, I mean, those guys, they'll charge you five grand to walk in the door. And they won't, here in Utah, usually, they ain't going to give nobody no credit, especially a person like me. So, my theory has always been, it's a novel. What does novel mean? Just same as my cancer. We had this conversation just now. I have AML de Nuvo, which is AML leukemia that presents in a tumor. Now, this is important because right there is the historic, historic Weber State Nursing School. And it's all that and then some. So the woman who founded it, really started it, did all the historic work. She, June, she was an oncologist nurse. They're one of the only nursing schools in the world that teaches that AML leukemia can present in tumors. Thus, my misdiagnosis, I diagnosed myself, by the way, then Vincent, who I'll see tomorrow, he bone marrow biopsied me. And uh, it's, that means it's on the move. It's, I mean, for leukemia to present in tumors, it's radically, you know, he said it best. I, my hypothesis has always been my dad was nuked to death. You know, he died later of leukemia. And I was born a mutant, literally. Twin sister, mutation by definition. I was a very sick child. He, uh, 
I was a distance runner, by the way, and a good one, but I had that burn in my heart all the time. I could always feel it. I just told Ed, I stoned. Yeah, I used to run against him. I used to beat him once in a blue moon in junior high, high school, but then I could always feel that burn, you know. He's the Olympic coach. Boycott the 2021 games. I'm in their ear. So I told him, well, I had that fake order. I mean, I had that bad valve from birth. I could feel it from the time I was a kid. So I've always, my theory's been, my body's been fighting back from birth. Thus, you know, the leukemia, my daughter says, your bone marrow won the war. You know, we caught it right. And the cocktail, it's not your father's chemo. Fimble Peterson and Vincent Hanser are both anti-nukers. And they've known me since I was a child. You know, everyone in this town does. And so, Nuvo, on the move. That's what SARS-2, COVID-19 this pandemic is. We go back to the Spanish. Think about it. They name it Spanish. But, well, think about it. I guess maybe they did get the name right because who unleashed the cattle onto the Santa Barbara landscape? Yep, they were Spanish. You think that went into the play on the word? I think so. I've always said that, which devastated this town. Utah was devastated by COVID. I'm having a battle with my blood pressure. God, it's my line when I go see all these multiple doctors. And I have some good ones, thank God, that I'm uninsured. I don't know how I do it. I mean, I'm in the, the quack D who misdiagnosed and almost killed me, then saved me. I've seen the good, the bad, the ugly. By the way, Harrison, the CEO, has got cancer. <laughs> they were calling me while I was in the ICU with my chest split open on my heart surgery, they were calling me, threatening me from the same building. This is the dichotomy of the American medical. Mike Lee kicked me out of Medicaid when I was in the bone marrow transplant of this, when he sent the Obamacare money back. Just an idealistic stand, he kicked single males, all, all of them. My doctor freaked out, he couldn't believe it. You know, they cut me off treatment. It's not because they wanted to. The administrators of LDS made them, because I ran out of money. You know, I didn't have a transplant because I was too sick. You know, and I was under treatment for until late, well, well into 2015. Mike Lee kicked me off the day before I was supposed to have emergency gallbladder surgery. It almost cost me my life. Looks good. So, there's a real mason. I'm an old rock mason. Old plaster. The tree in the kids' museum. Yeah, I built that out of laughing and plaster. The Masonic Temple, I hand children, bro. I mean, I have 10,000 of them. I wouldn't switch the fake shit. But something happened on it. I had all that Tesla stock, had all that Apple stock. So I know this is a long dissertation, but it's important. So my friend, Geronimo, who worked at the Arden Clinic, and my uncle's the guy who found it, Vincent Hampton's partner, Thomas, who saved me from the grave. My heart was always burning, and I was a physical beast. I was an incredible beast. I was a hands-on plaster. My Wall Street career, everything. I mean, everything that I've done with my life. He's like, do not let them open you until you kick the can as long as you can, Kevin, on that heart. And he, he was always mad at me because, you know, I wasn't such a goody tissue. And he was. He was a genius doctor. And Vincent was his partner. And Vincent, Vincent put a lot of work into me to save my life. Geneva on the move. He, he, I'll quote him. He's given you the biggest miracle in my 40-year oncology career. My brother and father both died of thyroid cancer. I grew up in southern Utah. By the way, Burgess Owens wants to restart tests. I mean, it's insane what's going on with this country in Utah. I mean, it's just political. How'd they do it? One by Jetstream, two by cable TV. We don't send 51-year-olds into the LDS. I said, I'm not going to LDS. That's a shithole. It's under construction. I said, it's been under construction my whole life. No, you don't know. There's a guy from Denmark there named Fimbo. I've talked to him about you. He put in a tremendous amount of work on me. He overrode Silver Moon. They, they, the tumors, they boss had put him in the wrong dish. The original emergency room doctor, who my Natalie Farr was my neighbor, who scanned me. What a brilliant nurse she was. She was a radiologist. She scanned me that night. I grew up with her. I know she did. The guy didn't even look at it. He sent me home and told me there was nothing wrong with me. I went back, almost killed me, misdiagnosed, misdiagnosed, misdiagnosed. Then, Bakara wanted to gut me. 
Okay, my guy, I told him no because my Uncle Thomas told me don't let him open unless you're going to die. So I refused the surgery, Vincent. I'm thank God you didn't have that surgery. You've been dead that day. You died on the table. We don't stand 51 years old. Your vitals, they're, it's called a red 10. They rank you 1 to 10 at LDS. Celeste, 26 years at LDS, he said, Bone Marrow Clinic. Uh, the secretary, she said, Kevin, I want to talk to you one day. I'm at the outpatient clinic. Come here. She says, I want to tell you something, how proud I am of you and your intensity and your radical fight. You know, I prepared your paperwork when you come in here. I probably shouldn't tell you this, but you were a red 10. I've been here 26 years. I've never seen a red 10 walk out of here. I fully expected you within a week to go out of here in a body bag. <laughs> no, she says, no, seriously. So the intensity of the fight, Vincent says, I've known you since you was a kid, Kevin. You're intense. You're tough. You're radical. I'm not going to send a 51-year-old in with ML Denubo in there because the chances are so low. But I believe in you. You got all choked. I really believe in you. You know, can't you see you believe in me? So, no house on the sacred landscape. Let's keep walking so we get to the blood drive. This is important because it's the Red Cross that's coming forward. What's the irony of me doing that great piece yesterday inside the, you know, the Wattis Curse House? You know, the most underutilized building in the world. The nuclear cartel bill. I've been in since seven, and no one's ever in. No one's ever there. So, AKA Damian Lillard's personal training facility. By the way, I, I believe Damian's gonna win the MVP this year. You know, I really think he will. He's all that as an athlete. Of course, he's caught up in Mimiism, but I get it. He's, this is his time to shine. So, back to this, my thesis has always been the Fukushima disaster new. New. The scientists are mystified, they're baffled, they're puzzled, they're stumped, they're perplexed. Do they all have the golden handcuffs on? I mean, I understand it here at the University of Nuclearism. This is who built this. The only football stadium right there is named after a woman. You know, I'm headed to their hospital, the D family, Utah Construction. When they merged with General Electric, she donated $700 million to this school in the 70s. You know, her daughters are really fantastic philanthropists. They didn't do it, they, they do the right thing with their money. But the Red Cross comes forward and debunks this whole thing we've been shoved down our throat that this guy flew in to Seattle from China and he's the one that spread it. It's 560. Here we go. They're doing the biggest blood drive in Utah there right now. I wish I could give blood. You know, I did the play-by-play -play there for years. I got fired from a job that doesn't pay for the 10th time. <laughs> We're saying, fuck the NCAA. Fuck the NCAA. And Damian Lillard needs to mention Trevon Smith. For every one Damian Lillard, there's thousands. Trevon Smith died in a jail cell last year, beat to death. All-time leading rusher in the history of this school of football. I got my Brown and Taylor mask on, which I like those three women taking credit for Black Lives Matter. They know damn well that it was our group that started it. The Million Mass March started Black Lives Matter. Who started the Million Mass March? Kevin Blanche did, based on the death of Danielle Willard here in Utah in 2012. So, but that's the way it works. So, my thesis on De Nuvo, tide pools collapse, samic all coincidence, everything, is it's a mutation from Fukushima. This is more proof of my work. The Red Cross doesn't get it wrong. My plate accounts were down to eight multiple times in the bone marrow trance. So they say you can't live under 15, out of blood, waiting for blood. I had so many blood transfusions nine years ago right now. I'm alive. Mike Lee kicked me off Medicaid the day before my emergency gallbladder surgery. And they wouldn't do it. Thus then my gallbladder rupture almost killed me. You know, so thank you everybody for supporting this story work. But this fight goes on, my place and time. So Red Cross is doing the biggest blood drive I'm like good finally somebody can get in there by the way the Weber State Athletic Department are a bunch of assholes they're pieces of shit they've run this athletic this building was packed 24 every game every game major concerts shit they says oh no fans in this year I said what just like last year it's not the players 
it's not even the coaches. I like Randy Ray, you know, even though he's never won a tournament game. I mean, he get these players. I call it Randy Ray's boot camp. You know, he's got 13 players playing in Europe, all doing well, including Damien's cousin. Jay Hill's turned the football world program around. Snowball's chance in hell. It's the athletic department. It's the Board of Regents. These professors, they're pathetic as hell. It's really pathetic. So, the most underutilized building in the world, the DMN Center. The Red Cross doing a major blood drive. You know, which, that's another byproduct of COVID. People don't understand. It is cancer. I mean, think about it. Cancer unit, everybody's quarantined in there, neutrophils of zero. One coronavirus in there, everyone dies. You know, as far as patients, because it's under the treatment. So, and the lack of blood. Because people haven't been donating blood because of COVID. I know it's a long video dissertation. Got to keep doing my walking. My blood pressure's been really up lately. I don't know if that's stress. I got to get it down. You know, I don't, I'm, I'm, well, I think it's the pain I'm in from the teeth, but I have no safety net. I have nothing. You know, I do the most historic PhD in human history. I sleep on the beach when I'm in California. My little cute hotel, the Beach Homer, that I used to be friends with, and they used to give me a good deal. They sold it to some guy, and he's turned it into his one house. Welcome to America. 29 empty beds for every homeless person in this country every single day. It's a sick country. So... More of my work coming true that I'll walk over to the hospital. I'll see the doctor today and tomorrow. I ain't got no money to pay. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I was a millionaire when I got sick. No good deed goes unpunished. Thank you to the Red Cross. So, no snow. It's going to get scary. These reservoirs are empty. All predicted by Kevin Blanche. Play back the tape. Oh, been going off it. No. My spiral jetty. It is proof that this isn't fragile. Perfect levels in 2012. This is all post Fukushima. So, again, my thesis COVID 19, Kobe. Means Japan. Kobe's Japanese word for great greatness. Why would they name it COVID 19? Coronavirus 1 through 18 because it's number 19 and it's de nuevo on the move. Pandemic. Spanish flu, did they name it right? Yeah, because the Spaniards are the ones that came here on Santa Barbara invaders. They're the ones that unleashed the cattle onto the landscape. So maybe it is named right because that's where it came from. You know, things that shouldn't be here. Inorganic. Oh, by the way, on seventh generation. 1822, my bloodline's right here, right here. Who's the savages? First white people here. First whiteies here. The little angel right here when I was a little boy. Used to play right here before this thing was ever built. She'd always come to me. Kevin, Kevin. Shh. That angel appeared to me when I went in the coma in the bone marrow transplant center. Little native girl, Kevin. Boy. By the way, there's Auden Clinic right there. Vincent Thomas saved my life, you know. But the fight goes on. He said to me the other day, You believe you're 60 after all this? No. God. Thank you, everybody, for supporting this historic work. What a battle it's been, huh? But more proof that my thesis. First shot positive, then you do the field work, then you defend your work. Think about the trolls. Why in critical condition everybody attacked me, my own government attacked me. All illegal, felonies in all states. But think about everybody's song is with me. A long, ugly battle. But the fight ain't over. The fight goes on. Hands up. No nukes. Say her name, say her name, Damien Willard. Her name's Danielle Willard. Say his name. Trevin Smith versus Damian Lillard. Hmm. One in a million. You could be the next. You could be the next American Idol. 
You can win the lottery. You can be the next GCO. For every one Damian Lillard, there are hundreds of Trevon Smiths. Well, what about them Olympics? Stay in tune and we'll get curling.